Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Manuel and I'm doing a sabbatical right now for one year. I decided to move abroad and I'm currently living on La Réunion, an island that belongs to the European Union and is located in the Indian Ocean. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, how it is to travel here during Corona times, what kind of requirements do you need to fulfill to be able to come here what were my concerns uh, before I departure? So uh, yeah, just begin. Good morning, guys. This is me going to the COVID test on my leave Monday morning because tomorrow morning my flight's gonna leave and I need to have a negative test that is not over than seventy two hours. So the difficulty was to find a place where you get also your results within the short period of time of 72 hours. I found out that in Munich the only place where you can take a test and get your results is at the airport. So I drove there to uh, get the test done. So I can now check off the COVID test. It took me about like 45 minutes, so quite long for just having this stick in your mouth. And uh, yeah, cost a fortune with like 190 euro for the test. But I'm gonna have my results within 24 hours, and yeah, that was the only possibility. To be honest, Corona made planning a nightmare. I was really tired of making decisions when I went um, because everything could change in a really short amount of time. There could have at least gone like 1000 things wrong. Um, I could have like um, not get my test result within the time. I could have like a delayed train and miss my flight. Things could go wrong and I had them in my mind all the time and uh, felt a little bit anxious. And um, so I tried to organize everything as perfect as I could do and prepare everything. So. Um, I decided to go to Paris from where my flight left a little bit earlier uh, and spend a night there and not go early morning from Munich to Paris then uh, go to the airport there and fly in the afternoon on Tuesday so I decided to go already on Monday afternoon sleep a night in Paris and then go next day to the airport. So it is completely empty again. I'm not sure if I'm in the right train because it's like no rooms there. And yeah. So welcome to my room. I just arrived in Paris and yeah, I've got a room which is really central between the two uh, stations here in Paris and it was just like 40 euro. It's a tiny but I mean, what do you expect for 40 euro? Just a small bed and a spectacular view to the dance floor and a tiny bathroom like in a caravan or something. So yeah, I would say quite okay for 50 bucks, uh, 40 bucks and I'm super happy that I booked this alternative and that I can sleep out tomorrow before my flight leaves at uh, 5 p.m. When I arrived in Paris, the corona situation got uh, worse, so they decided to have a partial lockdown in Paris and uh, it was like all the bars needed to uh, close um, and it was mandatory to wear a mask in public. I thought about what to do with like a couple of hours in Paris and uh, after indoor activities weren't like the best uh, thing to do in Corona times, I just decided to do a little walk around the city. It was nice to go through the streets and see a little bit of the Paris city life. And at that place, I was really proud of myself that I managed to order a baguette in French and um, the bistro was really nice and I could eat outside because inside the restaurants I passed uh, it was really packed there were like people sitting close to each other not wearing masks and uh, so I decided no better uh, sit outside even if the weather was like rainy and cold but uh, there was like fresh air and no or at least a minimum risk of catching uh, the coronavirus. I got my test results um, while I was walking through Paris so I could check that off that I was really happy and uh, now I'm negative and I can um, go on the flight.
I'm at the airport now and I had to print out my luggage things myself. This is my hand luggage and now I will go to the check-in and get rid of this bulky huge bag and then I'm gonna start soon. The flight was pretty empty. I had a whole bench for myself and that was good so I could um, yeah, really stretch out for the night. You needed to wear the mask all the time uh, except the times where they served food or drinks then you could take off the mask and uh, just... After the flight landed I needed to wait 45 minutes in front of the car rental because it was so early and they just uh, opened at like quarter to seven. After an hour drive from the airport to my apartment, um, it's really uh, a lot of traffic on the island and I just uh, stand most of the time. So I decided to go um, and do some grocery shopping and make some nice food. So that was it for my journey to La Réunion and what I needed to have in mind. If you uh, liked the video then leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet then just do it. Next time I'm super excited to show you my really nice apartment. As you can see in the background I have uh, a nice balcony where I can see some palms and enjoy the nice weather and I'm gonna show you everything next time. Bye bye!